Hey, what is up guys? Shadow here and welcome to another video today. I'm going to be showing you guys how to access the House of Wolves DLC which comes out in May. So that is pretty cool. I mean, it is um, mid-February. So, you know, pretty early. So what you're going to do is first you're going to go to World's Grave and we'll also have another loser here. Hey! Yeah, so we have another loser here. Uh, <laughs> so we're going to do World... You. <laughs> we're going to start World's Grave. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to make your way all the way through the entire I'll level until you get first. to here. You literally don't have to do a lot of stuff. And then this pillar, the pillar of light, because this shines light on your scenario. What you're going to do... Oh, first of all, let me show, show you. If you're a hunter... This is my new hunter, by the way. If you're a hunter, I go with Gunslinger and put on Triple Jump. That's very, very important um, to do this. So I'm just going to jump onto this crystal. And what you're going to do is you're going to jump onto this banner right here. Now, don't jump between because that's not a solid surface and you'll fall right through. <sighs> Waiting on you, buddy. <laughs> I got it. Don't worry. So you're going to go through this. here. And you're going to look down and you're going to see this little triangle, Illuminati. And you're going to jump through. Make sure you don't die. <laughs> you would say that. And you're going to get to this point. Now, you can't just, like, walk through. You can sort of crouch sometimes, but most of the time you're going to have to, like, slide through. But you can either crouch or slide. So that's what you do then. And this is a glitchy part, so you're going to not be able to see some stuff sometimes. So you just have to get over this. This is the first of many different weird pillars you're going to end up jumping on top of this. You should and... can't slide through right now. <laughs> don't let me slide through it. <laughs> I'm ditching you goodbye. Um, oh, the thanks, next thing you're gonna do it. is you're gonna jump down here, and I can't see. Okay, and you're gonna have to know. You're gonna have to know this. Uh, it's a wall. All the way to, you have to do. There's a wall right here. Uh, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna sort of jump around and up this, on top of this, and on top of that. Then you're gonna jump over here. You're gonna kill him. God, you're so slow. Oh, thanks. Thanks, because Shadow. He's a, he's a no life. So, uh, now that you've made it, you've sort of made it out of the. Now you're on the outside of the map, and somehow you are not forced to turn back for whatever reason. Yeah. But. Alright. So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna jump onto this ledge right here, and you're gonna have to make sort of like a blind jump. Uh, as you can see, he's already going ahead and doing it, but if you jump right here, you're good. You cannot go through the map on uh, very odd. By you, uh, it's not gonna let you. Then you're gonna jump on top of here. You're gonna see this, and you're gonna have to know that there's something down there. So you're gonna jump off and sort of just glide on over, climb up the stairs, up here, and then onto this rock. Of course, you guys can pause the video if you need to. <laughs> you're gonna jump up here, and then this is the rock statue because you know it's made out of rocks. Now for hunters, you can do a little tricky, like, you know, a little shortcut and just clamp in this crevice and go up here. Uh, anyone else can pretty much just hover up. So then you're going to do it. Um, you're technically on top of the map now, so sometimes you're going to have a hard time performing your jumps like this. You're going to have a hard time, so take the left route. The, it's, the, so it's not as tall, and when you get on tall spots, you sort of get stuck, and it's kind of complicated. And also, you do not have to worry about... These little empty spots because you can walk on them. So, yeah. You can walk on all this. Just imagine there was something there. Okay, so now that you're through here, this next part is probably the most frustrating part of all of them, if you were to ask me. Because this is literally a go or die sort of thing because if you mess this up there you can't respawn you have to redo the entire thing even if you're in a fire team you have to redo the entire thing so what you're gonna do is you're gonna sort of make your way over here all the way up and you're gonna want to jump over that right there in that corner uh... but to get to this platform and you can't jump down there and i don't know i've never tried it, it the knife goes through but you're not going to be able to go there just because there's like a wall that won't let you or whatever. It's just not going to let you. And if you do not make it, you're just going to slide off to your imminent death or you're just going to fall into that room you're going to have to kill yourself because there's no way to recover from this. So what you're going to have to do, you have to be very careful. You have to make your way. Oh, I did it. No, I didn't do it. Shut up. You have to not do that. Alrighty. So I have... 
my supercharge. I, I switched to Blade Dancer because there's no way that I can mess up Blade Dancer. Uh, this is the third time I'm tired of redoing this entire thing. HCK, you better start your run right now because I I, I, if you're I, the one I, to mess this up, I'm going to cry because... I know, that would be so funny. Got All it. Right. I'm just gonna drop about to, All right, let's see if I can cross the abyss of Hitler because that's what I decided to call it because this thing is Hitler. Alrighty, so... Here goes nothing. Let me do it! Yes! Victory! Yes. Yeah! Run. Yeah! Party! Party! <laughs> let's dance! Let's dance! Come on! Let's go! Let's... Yeah! No! Yeah! No. Uh -huh. Yeah! Yeah! Uh-huh! Yeah! Uh-huh! Yeah. Woo! <laughs> did it. Okay, that's not that's not all of it, but <laughs> Alright, so now that we passed this part, it is like I said, irritating as a mother trucker. Now you're gonna end up jumping from boulder to boulder. Use your boulders use these boulders as a guide to sort of know where to go. Uh, cause you know, it's really the only place that you can go. And now it's getting all spooky spooky, see the light of death over there. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna jump down and on to the, uh, it's a little bar there. And you want to make sure your teammate jumps too because if it doesn't jump in time, then uh, it'll count it as uh, all your teammates are dead and you're pretty much done. Holy crap, it's getting so, loud, bro. Those are just uh, little grunts. And what you're going to do is you're going to jump up here. So proceed to jump. Where'd you go? Shadow? At least you can get picked up in here. Ha! <laughs> Suck. <laughs> Suck it, Destiny. Bungie. Yeah. Get out of here. Yeah. And I realize I'm dancing with Shadow. I need to switch back to like, to Gunslinger to actually make that jump. Okay. So come on through. And now you're gonna run on this little ground thing because there's nothing else. To What the heck is Shadow? Come on! What? Shadow! What? I can't even get down there. How did you stop? Oh, Shadow! Oh my god! I'm so freaking tired. I would mess up. I I can't even right now because this game, I've done this exploit probably like five times with like tons of different people, and it has never messed up more than it has now. Thanks to you, HDK. It's all your fault. Okay, so me. So now I what, have made it every time. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go <laughs> all the way over here, next to this, next you know to the hive sign, up? and you're gonna want to make your way to there, to there, and so on. So what you're gonna do is just there's like a little spot you can like sort of double jump. It there's it's not really that big of a deal. And jump on top of this part. Now listen here, right here. Um, if you went ahead and did this the normal way, the legit way. It would have stopped you right here, because this is the door that the House of Wolves is locked. So technically, everything on from now is House of Wolves DLC. So it's going to get dark. It's going to get spooky. You're going to get nightmares. It's not Halloween. It's it's Valentine's Day. But I'm not uploading on Valentine's Day. But <laughs> So you're going to want to go down here and jump onto this little patch of dirt and not almost fall off like I just did now. And now the light's going to be on, but you're going to jump up. You're going to see another patch of dirt. So you're going to want to jump across again. I think there's actually, this is actually like, you can actually step on this. So now you're going to climb up this stairs, and you're going to hug up against this wall, and you're just going to walk off. I got it right this time. Just walk off. And then you will respawn right on the edge of the stairs, and what you're going to do is you're going to respawn, and bam! You're finally in the now? House of Wolves DLC. Yeah, you can join it. So that is how you get into House of Wolves. So now let's you know let's go ahead and explore it a little bit. This is wait for me. It's very interesting. Wait for me. So when you spawn in, you're gonna end up seeing all these little like crates with fallen symbols on it. So there maybe there's some sort of story as to how the fallen have gotten here. You know that's because you know there's really mainly the only way to, like think of this whole thing because you know you got your teleporters, you got your fallen equipment. And then if you go all the way back here, it goes back to um, the Sword of Crota. Yeah, it's just darkness and 
Really, there's nothing here. See? You go through here, and then... Yeah, so... Then you, and yeah, so I'm... I'm there's a maze. It's a maze. I'm here! Wait, did you go through the port teleporter already? I am lost. Shut up. Oh, no, I'm not. So, did you go through the, teleporter? Go through the teleporter? No. Okay, I want... Uh, yeah, I want to show what happens when you get teleported. Alright, so this is actually a teleporter right here. Uh, this is a one-way teleporter, so once you teleport, you can't go back. So if you wind being the uh, representative... That, 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 that's a teleporter. That, that, that's that a right teleporter. there. No, that's the ballad. Never mind. That's that, the dance. That, that's the, that's te that's the that's teleport, teleport right there. Right there. That. 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 Right there. So you want to go in first, or you want to show what it looks like from outside? I want you to go in first. Deuces. So you just fly up, and then you're gone. Where did he go, huh? <laughs> Where did he go? I wonder. I wonder where our friend HGK went. Did he? Do, does he disappear? Can we talk to him? Hello. <laughs> Hello. I mean, jump through. You're gonna fly up. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> yeah. So that's pretty you much what you do. <laughs> and now you are in House of Wolves DLC. This isn't really the raid. I bet it's probably just uh, you know just normal map. If you look out, you can see the moon, and then you start w wondering, where are we looking from? Well, if you go to the moon and you actually look up, there's a big satellite, and I think that's where we're actually at. Because you have a big view, and if you actually do the whole ghost thing, you can actually see our objective is way down there. It's actually kind of funny, because we didn't do it. So yeah, let's go ahead and check out, take a look at everything. So, If you pay attention like the early missions, everything opens up just like the fawn does. That's how you sort of know. Is House of Wolves just because House of Wolves deals with Fallen and all the doors open like the Fallen. Now you're in Trader's Catch. So that is a Fallen House of Wolves DLC area. And then this is basically the Optic Gaming House uh, 5.0. They literally just sit here and they play video games on these <laughs> little computers. This is, uh, this is Optic Scumpy's room. And then if you go over here, this is... Um, Nate Shaw, as you can see, his screen is broken right here. They're trying to get that fixed, but, you know, um, I don't know. It came down to problem with that one. And then this is the all-seeing eye. This is actually uh, the Illuminati. I think the next update when the actual House of Wolves comes out, it's going to be a triangle, but, you know, we'll never know. It could be a triangle inside, you know. Never know. So, yeah, because that's logic. That's logic. This is the, you know, <laughs> walk down here and to the right, to the right. To the left, to the left. There's nothing oh, here. To the left. I'm gonna go down here, and boom! Nuclear bomb. North Korea. We're in fact in North Korea. We are no longer on the moon. Uh, as you can <laughs> see, this Kim is. Who's gonna threaten to bomb you? <laughs> you can check all this little <laughs> stuff here. Of course, you can do it yourself before they patch it. Uh, I don't know when they're gonna do that. Um, <laughs> but this is. Um, you can go through here. That just loops around, and then also you can go on this side, over here. And check out this over here. And then this is where the new optic members come in. They go, whoa, play game. <laughs> so that's that. There's actually a way to get onto the nuclear bomb. So maybe if a fight happens here, then uh, you'll be able to sort of protect yourself better than you would have just scrambling around. So there really is an advantage for uh, checking out the House of Wolves glitch. You know, it's a glitch and it's an exploit. You know, there still is a successful advantage that you could get. Doing yeah, this. trouble. So what you can do is you can go on this, you can climb all the way up here, you can just sort of check it out. Just check it out for yourself. You know, it's very, very cool. It's fun to sort of look around and all the different things. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna jump down here. Wait, hold on. Let's over this over here. And yeah. I haven't even been up here actually. So that is a non-working room. So now you're gonna go down here and you're gonna see this little window. And this is basically where the boss this is where it hits the fan. That's where it hits the fan right here. It's to the window. To, to the, the wall. wall. <laughs> uh, so yeah, there's a little door opens up, but there's nothing to do there. So how do you get down there, you may ask. Well, what you're going to do is you're just going to go down this little area over here. And uh, you're just going to keep going down. And down, down. And then, boom! You are in the possibly... 360 YY no scope. I'm trying to claw. <laughs> oh, grenade. Oh.
Grenade cannon. So, uh, depending on your jumping ability, you can actually get up here and check out this little tank thing. That's actually very interesting. Tanks, tank apparatus up here. Very interesting. You can also jump over and check out the other one. I, pretty, I think they're identical, actually. But you may be able to just check out all the internals and what sort of makes this up. So, it's actually very interesting. So, there's going to be two enemy tanks we're going to have to fight when the DLC drops. Uh, whenever it does. And maybe, That's possibly, this is where a big boss could come out. You know, just sort of spawn out right here. Never know. Never know. It's like, raised from the ground. Raised from the ground. And uh, another spot that could be good for uh, camping, like, you know, sort of wandering around, is sort of getting into these little culverts right here, and then you can sort of jump up onto the second floor, and then you can sort of make your way around. And maybe, you know, find some cover in here. I don't know. Just whatever recommendation, whatever you think would work for you. So yeah, this is the end of the House of Wolves DLC secret glitch cover. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, please give it a like. Comment what you think of this uh, little glitch. I mean, the DLC drops, what, in three months now? So this is pretty cool to have this much of an advantage over everyone else. You know, just sort of check out the whole map and landscape. There's a bug right there. Um... <laughs> So, you know, just to sort of check everything out uh, ahead of time is pretty cool. Three months. It's a good amount of time. Show them the bright room. Looks like you're going to heaven. Yeah, we're going to go to the heaven room. Um, cover your eyes. Cover your eyes. <laughs> it's at the very beginning. But yeah, um, DLC drops in May. Mid-May, I believe. Uh, someday. They've already released a date for it, but I just I don't remember. <clears throat> it's a bug. So it drops then. Uh, the raid obviously isn't going to be uh, glitchable because it's on a totally different map area. It's not even going to be here. So yeah, the raid and all that, the PvP missions are going to be unknown. This is the uh, heaven room, heaven floor. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like. Please check out this glitch yourself if you feel like it. And I will talk to you guys later. Are you going to show them this room? Oh.